guys, it's Sandra here. And today we have a special video for you. This year is our third wedding anniversary. And so I figured we were going to do a video about how we were able to use only a thousand dollars for our entire wedding. But we were able to pay for the wedding by ourselves. Um, and so I th thought I would go through in different categories and just kind of tell you how we spent that money. We're just gonna go um, down a list that I have and I will leave any links that I can find in the description and I'll have any pictures on the screen of anything that I can find as well. It's been three years since our wedding, so I don't know if I can find the exact things, but we will um, go ahead and get started. So first of all, the biggest thing with a wedding probably is a wedding dress. Some people spend thousands and thousands of dollars alone on their wedding dress. Thankfully, I was able to get my wedding dress for $145 and from a website called JJ's House and they have all kinds of dresses, prom dresses, bridal dresses, bridesmaids dresses, all that kind of stuff. And the cool thing about JJ's House is that you can put in your exact measurements and they'll just custom make your dress for you so that way you don't have to go and get alterations. I know alterations can be um, a major part of why dresses are so expensive. Um, so I just added all my numbers in and the dress fit really well and I didn't have to, I only paid $145 for the entire thing plus shipping, everything. I don't remember the exact money for my shoes that I wore, but I wanna say they weren't any more than $50. I got them on sale, so um, I'm gonna say about $50 for that. And we ended up paying for our bridesmaids dresses. We got some pretty inexpensive dresses just on Amazon. Um, all together, it was like, $87 for all three dresses for my three bridesmaids. Um, so that was not very expensive at all. And um, Steven's suit, the portion that we paid for the suit was about $100. We also helped pay for some of the groomsmen's things and that was about $40 for what we paid for for some um, vests and bow ties. We didn't fully pay for it, but that's what we contributed to it. Um, our rings, not including the engagement ring um, that Steven got, but like my wedding band and then Steven's wedding band total was about $35 for both of those rings. For our venue, we had our wedding at my church. We didn't have to pay anything to use it, but that could be something that, you know, if you're a member at a church, you could always see if your church is able to accommodate you for that. Um, now for our wedding cake, we had a two tier wedding cake, I think it was just vanilla, um, for $40 at Sam's Club. It wasn't anything super fancy, but it was a nice looking cake. We just had purple and silver were our colors, so we just had um, a little purple icing on it. And then they also gave us the cake cutlery and they gave us a wedding cake topper to go on top of that as well. So all of that was just $40 for all the wedding cake supplies. Um, for flowers, we spent $100 total on flowers. I had a bouquet of flowers and then the three bridesmaids had bouquets. And what we did for that was I got my own bouquet like of actual flowers, real flowers. And then for my three bridesmaids, I made bouquets out of artificial flowers. So I ordered some artificial flowers for like 20 bucks on Amazon. Um, and then I'm gonna link the floral design place that we went to and the link for the description so you can use, you know, if you're in the Dallas-Fort Worth area and you're interested in um, looking at flowers, you can maybe go to them. I really loved the flower bouquet that I had for our wedding. It was only a bridesmaid's bouquet, but again, we were on a budget, so thankfully they were able to work with us and um, get us something that we could afford within our budget. Um, but that was about $80 that we paid for that, um, for that flower bouquet. Um, now for photography, again, that's something that a lot of people will pay a lot for. For us, we just had my, my sister likes taking pictures. And so she, we had a family camera that she used to take some pictures for us. And so again, we did not have to pay for um, a photographer for that. Now for decorations, we had some purple rose petals that we put along like the tables in the reception and along the aisle in the auditorium and we paid 20 bucks for those. Um, we had a guest book that we paid about seven bucks for at Hobby Lobby. We did a sand unity ceremony, I guess you call it. And we paid about $40, 10 for the sand and 30 for the base. And then $40 for our aisle runner. So 
that's pretty much all we had for decorations. Just nice and simple, and then it fit with the colors. Um, our wedding colors, which were purple and silver. Um, for the reception, we had catered Chick-fil-A. Um, I worked at Chick-fil-A for six years, um, all together at different locations. And so we were fortunate enough to have Chick-fil-A cover the cost for us. If we had paid for our catering order, it would have been about $130, I think, total. We also had punch, which the total ingredients probably added. We made our own punch, and that probably added to about $40, maybe. Um, and then plates, cups, and napkins were about $15, just real simple. And then I just kind of left a general miscellaneous category. I'm not really sure. I'm sure there were a few other things that we had purchased that I can't remember off the top of my head. But I put down $150 for like miscellaneous things. Now, and that total that we paid about brings us to about a $875 and I said about $1,005 if we included the Chick-fil-A order, like the catering order, um, which I know not everybody has that privilege of having something like that given to us. We were really blessed with having that provided to us. So we'd say about $1,005. So we stayed pretty much right at about $1,000, which was really nice. It was a really nice wedding. Really pretty ceremony, very short, sweet, and to the point. I think the whole ceremony was like 20 minutes long. Nice small wedding. That was exactly the way we wanted it. So that's how we were able to have our entire wedding in $1,000, really less than $1,000. If you have had experience with having a budget-friendly wedding and you would like to leave some suggestions down below as well, feel free to leave those comments or if you have questions feel free to leave that in the comments below as well and i will be answering those questions and again anything in this video that i can find a link for i will link those in the description thanks so much for watching guys if you like what you saw make sure to give this video a like and consider subscribing and stick around for future videos um, we're thankful so much for the support that you've given to us um, and we'll see you guys in the next video bye